The high school girls hoops championships rolling on through Saturday. The snow not getting in the way of the title games at the Barry Auditorium as divisions two, three and four all taking the floor earlier today. Up first, the division two final top seed and unbeaten North Country taking on the hometown heroes, third seeded Spalding. The Tide getting off to a great start. Yvonne Roberge knocking down the wing triple. Spalding up 7-2 early, but Sabine Bruick rallying the Falcons. The runner off the glass puts NCU up one. They led 14-13 after the first. Second quarter, pretty much all Spalding. Gracie Martin from deep. Tide led by as many as nine, but the second half belong to North Country. Cora Nato heating up from deep, one from the corner, and another one from the wing put NCU up 38-36. This one down to the wire, but Bruick hitting four free throws in the final 15 seconds to seal it. North Country wins it 47-42. The Falcons soaring to a perfect season and their second title in three years. A battle of the Upper Valley in D3, defending champ and top-seeded Windsor taking on third-seeded Thetford. Jackets would build a small lead using the long ball. Brianna Barton knocking one down from the wing to put her team up 9-6. to six. And then it's Sophia Rockwood a little bit later doing work down in the corner. Windsor up 12-8, to eight, but, when a, but when Windsor had a chance to stretch it out, Addison Chatwell coming up with the huge chase down block. And then she's cooking down on the other end as well. Chatwood smooth with the turnaround jumper. Panthers led much of the second half, but down just two mid-fourth. Check out Aubrey Rupp with the save. She'll get open in the corner and knock it down to give Windsor the 37-36 lead. What a sequence, and they never trailed again. Closing minute, Barton, the drive. Sydney Perry lays it in to cap things off. Windsor holding on to down Thetford, 44-40, and repeat as Division III champions. Final game of the night, the D4 championship featuring undefeated defending champ West Rutland and second seeded Blue Mountain. The Golden Horde would skate out to a lead. Peyton Gay to the rack plus the foul, but the Bucks would climb back into it. Nice little up and under move here by Felicity Solem. West side by one halfway through. This one definitely a game of runs. Gay from Curry range to put her team up by six in the third. But back come the Bucks. Solom fighting through contact down low. Blue Mountain up four in the fourth. But in the end, the Golden Horde show why they're undefeated. Ariana Combs showing off the range. And when Aubrey Boye hits from the wing, it was all over. West side capping a perfect season with a 50-44 win and their second straight state title.